gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Extra Vision. I am your host, Eckstein, and let's get right into it. So, uh, I-46, again, still the major project that is going on. I am spending so much free time on it. I'm very happy, very excited about it. I just bought my ticket coming out of XTV funds, not the fundraiser. Of course, the fundraiser now supplying airfare for both Leviathan Gaming and Classic Mixup. LG's tickets actually cheaper than Classic Mixup, so that's a plus. Salamancer fronting the money for that, so definitely huge ups to Salamancer, and we need your help to pay him back for the money he has fronted. And uh, if we do accomplish that goal by I-46, I will be waxing off my sideburns on stage. It's going to be painful but you know still something that a little bit of encouragement for you guys if it doesn't happen by i-46 we will still be fundraising and then we'll have a shaving of the burns at a later date the xtv auction um is still coming up but don't worry we're gonna get that rolling uh next week we will have news on it next week's extra vision will be solely focused maybe not solely but it will be focused on that auction also want to big up the streamers for i-46, which is none other than Vanilla TV. Of course, they helped us with the fundraiser show matches that if you haven't seen those yet, highly suggest that you check out those VODs. Big ups to those guys. We will uh, potentially be having a show match against them, XTV staff versus Vanilla TV staff on the 12th. Sadly, I will not be in attendance as I will be having to cover the shift of a man named Sparkles. Yep, that's right. Well, uh, let's move on and take a look at competitive news. ESCA season 12 starting up this coming week. Pretty excited about that invite. Looking like it's gonna be a very good season. Once again, we have the front runners, which this season are Leviathan Gaming in that new super strong classic mix-up roster. But we got six other teams that are gonna be battling it out for the remaining land spots. We have Seriously Bro, um, roster fairly stable, but they did uh, lose O-Played, no longer paired up with YZ50. Shout out to their sponsor, Zachrel, a great guy and definitely a solid contribu contributor to the community. The other teams that are going into invite this season are Mad Men, the previous I Am winners, now under the name No Need Four Names, which is not a very good name in my opinion. Another team with a great name is The Chess Club that features Tri, Weeble, Tech Dude, and Kermit along with some other players. Uh, looks like a pretty strong roster. Should be contending with some of these other teams. The Pinball Wizards are back. Mighty Ducks are back. And then Mihai's Flow is still continuing as a team. Now with the roster of KBK, Lansky, Oplaid, Hero, Sweater, and De Oreos. So, seems like a very inter interesting standing division for Invite this season. And of course, Intermediate and Open surely going to be Slugfest as well. Now, let's move on to letters to Robin. Dear Robin, could you upgrade the crafting user interface? My backpack is packed, and it'd be nice for crafting to not be such a chore. With the auto sorting, all of my new items end up on page six. Every time I want to combine two items, I gotta scroll through five pages, twice. Anything you could do on this matter to make the common TF tours life easier would be much appreciated. The XTV staff. Now for some news on some updates to TF2. They just dropped a pack, um, releasing some promo items uh, for the Awesome Knots as well as the Triad pack. That is a whole Chinese uh, themed pack going with sleeping dogs. Uh, there's some tattoos that you can get for classes. There's some chains, you can get a chain. How sweet is that? And then there's um, some crazy weapons. There's a flame throwing minigun 
that when you're spinning it, when it's deployed, it, it spits a ring of fire around you, which is very crazy and useful. Then there is a, a new sapper for the spy, which is very cool because that is the first new sapper that we are seeing. It basically reverses the construction and the upgrades of a building and starts devolving them from a level three downward. I haven't seen it in game. I've just seen a video of it in action and it seems crazy. The scout also has a, uh, it's called the flying guillotine, which is a Chinese chef's knife, a big, huge cleaver. Apparently you can throw and hit people with, which is pretty crazy. And I gotta say, Chinese chefs, chef knives are very versatile, great for chopping, great for dicing, great for, for butchering. Very good knives. Also, a TF2 blog updated um, information about the Tri-Am pack, but also a blog discussing how Valve settled upon the Pyrovision that came with that Pyromania update. Very interesting stuff. Now, let's move on to the Community of the Week. Our Community of the Week is the Reddit TF2 League. These guys have been throwing it down. They just got done with their first season. It's a small group of individuals, of users, but they're having fun playing 6v6 TF2 and doing a heck of a job of organizing a league. If you are interested, their signups for season two have just started. Please make sure to check out and subscribe to the Reddit, the subreddit, Reddit TF2 League. And spelled out just like that, go check them out and have fun. And now for our item of the week. The item of the week is the Colossus, a huge revolver for the spot. It also has a pretty big scope on it. Very styling, looks pretty badass. And I would love to play spy with it um, and, and kill some people, but you know, just, just virtually, just virtually. And this model was created by SVDL. And as I said, very cool looking, looks like a fun weapon to play with. Hope it gets included in the game. And well, that pretty much does it for us. I would uh, uh, love to tell you about our streaming schedule, but you know what? I'm actually not sure what we got coming up for you. Still processing the ESCA schedule and seeing what the big matches are gonna be. Stay tuned to our website and and please join our Steam group. We just passed 3,000 members, which is great, but you know, we're getting more than 3,000 views in ExtraVision and that just doesn't add up, man. What are you doing? Please, please join our Steam group, get all our announcements, all of our events, and that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching. If you got anything to say about XTV or ExtraVision, please hit me up xtine at xtelevision.com. Keep on playing, players. I'm Xtine, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.